How are you a nurse but you work from home? I did, hey. did a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle. So if you want to hear all about the nursing jobs that you can do from the house, then just keep watching. Okay, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Are you guys ready to hear about some nursing jobs that you can do from home? How can nurses work from home, you ask? How can nurses work from home? How is that a thing? It is a thing. It is a thing and it is a thing because I do it every day, okay? Okay, so the first nursing job that I wanna talk about that you can do from home is a online nursing faculty. So basically that is a nurse who teaches, um, you can teach BSN nursing students, you can teach ADN nursing students, you can teach CNA classes, you can teach LPN classes, you can teach um, master's degree classes, but in order to teach master's degree, you have to have a PhD. In order to teach mass, uh, BSN, you have to have a master's degree. So on and so forth. So there is a thing. We have classes now where you can get your RN to BSN and it's all online. So those teachers are online. So like I got my master's degree from Western Governors University. So the whole program was online. I, yeah, the whole program was online. So I had an online teacher. So I had a, a course advisor who, you know, signed me up for all my courses. And then I had like a nursing advisor and she, and you know, basically you had a nursing advisor for every class that you had. So you can be a teacher, a nursing teacher on, online. That is a thing. <laughs> so yeah. number two. A nursing evaluator so this is different than a nursing faculty or a nursing teacher you don't teach the classes you don't put up the um, curriculum you they don't reach out to you to ask you questions about what's going on in this chapter or blase blase a nurse evaluator is just that they evaluate your papers so at WGU um, we would have to do papers and we would have someone totally different than our uh, teacher to grade our papers. So um, they looked for everything. They looked to make sure that the paper that we was writing, the topic was there. And they also looked for punctuation stuff, run on sentences, periods in the wrong place, all that different stuff. <laughs> so, that is a job. You can search online, nd.com, nurse evaluator, and you will see different jobs pop up from WGU and all the online classes. And I think you have to have a master's degree, if I'm not mistaken, because I have looked at those jobs before. So I think you have to have a master's degree, but I'm not sure. Make sure you look and see and just, just so you can. Number three. So we have um, telehealth nurses. So telehealth nurses are basically nurses that reach out to you, call you. The patient may have a telehealth monitor, something that they can take their uh, blood pressure with, their weight, 
those digits come over to you you call your patient you can see their chart you talk to them over the phone pretty much it's like a phone conversation but you are doing disease management stuff like that over the phone so telehealth nursing you can utilize telephones webcams phones with you know like the uh, video chats on them things of that such the nurse can talk to you about your high blood pressure if you have if the the member has that um telehealth machine in their house blood pressure if they have chf and they their weight has increased you know by a, a certain amount of pounds or their blood glucose is elevated you can call them talk to them ask them questions what's going on so that is telehealth nursing and of course you can do that from home <laughs> So number four, number four, we have telephone triage nursing. What is that? So basically, um, hospitals or doctor's offices may hire nurses to triage phone calls. So say like you call the office and you have something going on with you and the office is closed. You will get a call back from a nurse telling you, you know, asking you, assessing you what is going on. You're in pain. How long have you been in pain? Did you just have surgery? When was the last time you took pain medication? Stuff of that sort to figure out if you can wait until that doctor's office opens the next morning or if you need to go get emergency help. Things like that. So that is what triage nursing is. And you can do that over the phone at home. <laughs> Number five, nurse coders. So basically, RN coders are, I'm going to read it for you because... I don't do that. It is basically patients who receive care at a hospital outpatient facility, physician's office, or ambulatory surgical center must have all services documented by that provider. As an RN coder, your job is to extract this information from the various medical reports and assign specific industry standard codes that correspond to the service performed. These codes will then allow the medical biller to process a code for reimbursement from the insurer. From the insurer. You must research a variety of sources to ensure accurate coding, including laboratory tests, imaging studies, and transcription of the doctor's notes. So this is what an R encoder does. They do not have to be at, they can be at home to do this. So this is another at home job. Number six, a nurse blogger. So you can just leave bedside all together <laughs> and start a blog all about nursing if that's what you want to do because there is so much information out here there are so many people looking for information about nursing you know what other jobs can you do besides bedside that could be a blog um what 10 things nurses want you to know that could be a blog like you can pretty much come up with anything to write a blog about so there are there is a such thing as nurse bloggers so yeah, then we have number seven, number seven are RN jobs at an insurance company. Now, some of these jobs can be outside of insurance, but I'm just going to umbrella the rest of the nursing jobs that are work from home under insurance. So the first insurance job that I'm going to tell you about is appeals. That is where I work. I work in appeals. Appeals is pretty much, we get clinical, we get cases, and the cases are appeals from either the provider or the member. And if the provider is appealing or a member is appealing, a surgery, inpatient stay, skilled nursing facility stay, home health, uh, all kind of stuff. So we have to have that medical knowledge to be able to read through the clinicals, um, and make a judgment on whether or not the services that were rendered are medically necessary. So we have policies that we follow, and if the um, and if the clinicals do not match with the policy, it was not medically necessary, and then we will send that up to a doctor to make the final decision. Um, there are things such as contract exclusions, meaning the contract excludes this. For example, if some contracts, if you have a accident, you fall and break your knee at home, but you were 
under the influence of alcohol, <laughs> your contract may exclude your hospital stay because you were impaired. So, you know, just just things like that. It's things that we look at the contract, we look at policies, we look at different things to determine if the services rendered are medically necessary, a contract exclusion, things of that sort. Uh, we have case managers at insurance. Case managers follow members. They call the members. Um, they make sure the member has their prescriptions. They make sure their members have their diabetic supplies. They make sure their members are weighing themselves every day if they have CHF. So case managers are people who follow members. Um, we have NICU case managers. So if a baby went to NICU, that NICU, that case manager for NICU follows that baby for up to a year you know, to make sure everything is flowing right. In stage renal disease, they are following that member to make sure they're not having any complications. And if they are, the case manager is there to help. Then we have utilization review. These ladies, I used to work in utilization review. Before I went to appeals, I started out working in utilization review. And pretty much utilization review is pre-cert. So anything that needs pre-cert, outpatient procedures, inpatient admissions, home health, uh, skilled nursing facilities, things of that sort, hospice, they all come to us if it requires pre-cert. And then we'll again look at the contracts, we'll look at the policies, and we'll make sure that the that the uh, clinicals that your doctor is sending in matches the policy for medical necessity. We also have nurse coaches. And they're, they're pretty much like maternity coaches, like people who follow you during your but you're doing your pregnancy, make sure you're not having any issues, things of that such. So yeah, those are all the things for insurance. I left off one and it's remote quality improvement nurse. So as a remote quality improvement nurse, you will review hospitals nursing record documentation for completeness, accuracy, and appropriate level coding. These positions usually contain a teaching element where the nurse educates the staff on the importance of proper documentation and coding practice. So this is another job. You can also be a freelance nursing writer. Uh, what do they do? <laughs> nursing writers write content for test prep courses, instructional manuals, and other training materials. So this is what freelance nursing writers do. This can also be done at home. So yeah, you guys, there are all types of jobs that you can do at home as a nurse. I always get asked, how are you a nurse but you work from home? Well, if you watch this video, now you know. So you can be a nurse and actually use your nursing license and work from home. I still have to renew my nursing license every two years. If I don't do this, I will not be eligible to do my job that I currently do. So this is an actual nursing job that I do. Okay? Okay. If you have any questions, you guys, leave me some comments below. Leave me some comments below. If you have not done so, hit the subscribe button down below. Down below. Also, while you're at it, make sure you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Okay? Okay. Give me a big thumbs up, you guys. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video out, you guys. Sharing is caring. And until next time, I'll holler at you guys later.